Okay, so for the helicopter lab, we're going to be seeing does the length of a paper helicopter's rotors affect the time it takes for the helicopter to reach the ground? So, Adam, yeah. what's our independent variable? Our independent variable is the length of the rotors. Because that's what we're changing. And then what are we going to measure? What's we're our... going to measure how fast the helicopter touches the ground. Awesome. What are some things that we should keep the same each time we drop our helicopter? Um, you're not, like, dropping it one time and, like, slamming it the other time. Okay, so the amount of force... What else? You're using the same helicopter. You try to hold it the like, same height. Awesome. So same height. Best. Excellent. All right. So what about a good hypothesis? Um, if the helicopter's rotors are shorter, it might touch the ground faster. Or so then it will reach the ground. Then it will reach the ground faster. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so we have our hypothesis. If the helicopter's rotors are shorter, then the helicopter will reach the ground in a shorter amount of time. Our independent variable is the length of the helicopter's rotors. The dependent variable is the time for the helicopter to reach the ground. Our drop method and our starting height are gonna stay the same. And these are gonna be the materials that you have. Afterwards, on the back it says write a paragraph summarizing the outcome of this lab. You need to write five sentences for pre-AP and three sentences for grade level. Okay, and then you need to go with the conclusion. My hypothesis was either valid if you were correct or invalid if you were incorrect. My results either do if you are valid or do not if you were invalid support my hypothesis because and then tell me why. For the limitations, how is our helicopter model, how is it different from a real helicopter? Don't say that it's paper. We know that already. Try and think of better ones. So then describe two advantages. How is our paper helicopter like and similar to a real helicopter? And then what could be done to make our lab more accurate, to give us better numbers or quantitative data?